Hey everybody, it's Mr. Montgomery again. Yesterday we started learning about time and how to tell time, how to read clocks. So we learned yesterday that that shorthand on a clock, same kind of clock you see in our classroom all the time, that is the hour hand. And we always read that one first. And then we also learned that the long hand is the minute hand. And when that points at that 12 all we straight up, we say o'clock. So if it's pointing at the four, with the hour hand and the 12 with the minute hand, we would say it's four o'clock. And no matter where that hour hand goes, as long as that, that minute hand's pointing straight up at that 12, we always say o'clock. But that's how we tell time with clocks that we see at school. That's called analog time. But some of us don't have clocks like that at home. It, a lot of us just use our cell phones or your parents' cell phones, or maybe they're Apple Watch or their Samsung Watch. And that's okay. So there's analog time that we learned yesterday. And today we're going to learn how to tell time with the kind of clocks that we see on our parents' phones. And that's called digital time. So your parents' phone, you can see right there. There we go. You probably see this uh, time like this a lot. Probably more so than seeing the kind of clocks that we, that we worked with yesterday. So today we're going to learn how to take that time on the analog clock and how we would read it the same way on a digital clock. Let's get into it. Okay, so down here we have some analog clocks. These are the clocks that we worked with yesterday. The front we call a face and these little arms we call hands. And the short one, like we said earlier, is the hour hand and the long one is the minute hand. And the hour hand is always the one we look at first. So if we want to write this time on a clock like this, a digital clock, which one would we start with? Would we start with this four? Or would we start with this long hand pointing at the 12? We would start with the four. So I, you'll notice these two little dots. So on this side where I'm waving the cursor, that is the hour side. So we would write the four right here. And I'm sure some of you are thinking, well, since the minute hand is pointing at this 12, we should write a 12 right here, right? It should, it should read like this. Is that how we write four o'clock? No, that would actually give us a different time. If we were reading this clock, it would say 412. So we can't write a 12 there. Instead, when we say o'clock, we would write two zeros. So now, this digital clock says four o'clock. And just remember that, let me change the color up. Um, so for this side right here, where the four is, that is the our side and over here where we have the zeros that is the minute side so we always start with the hour first and then rewrite down the minutes but as soon as this minute hand is on that 12 we have to write two zeros I know it sounds kind of goofy but that's how clocks work because as right after it goes from that zero onto that next dot, that tiny dot, I'll make a little blue dot right there. Once that minute hand goes just a little bit over onto that blue part, it's going to read a different time. And it actually starts at 1. So if it moves over just a little bit, it would actually be 4.01. And that's why we have to start with the two zeros as soon as it gets to that 12. Let's try it again with this red clock right here. Let me change my color back to red. All right. So which hand would we start with first? This long one or the short one? We would start with the short one. And what number is that pointing at? What number is it pointing at right there? It's pointing at the seven. So we start with the hour side first and write down a seven. And where is the minute hand pointing? 
it's pointing at that 12 again, which means we have to write the two zeros. And now we can say it's 7 o'clock. Let's do it one more time with number 3. Are we going to start with this little hand or the big hand first? Start with the little hand. What number is it pointing at right there? What number? It's pointing at the 11. So on the hour hand of our digital clock, we have to write the number 11. I'll make sure I write hour again for the hour hand. And this is for the minute hand. And where's that minute, that long minute hand pointing at? Where, where, where is it going? It's pointing at that 12. And we just said that if that minute hand is pointing at the 12, we have to write double zeros. Two zeros right there after the two dots. Because see, these two dots, they separate the hour from the minute. So you can't put everything all on one side or else we would be really confused. Let's go on to this orange clock right here. Can you figure out what time it, it's saying and how we could write it on this digital clock? Hmm. Let's start with the hour. What number is the hour hand on? It's on the 10. So we're going to write a 10 on the hour side of our digital clock. And then we see those two dots and we know we have to go on the other side for the minutes and what am I going to write for the minutes? Well it's going to be the same thing as these last three the same numbers it's just going to be two zeros next to each other and now we can say that this digital clock says it's 10 o'clock I'm sure you guys have noticed a pattern where the when we tell time by the hour on a digital clock the only thing that's changing is the hour. So the, the 4 changed to a 7, and then the 7 changed to an 11. But these two zeros on the minute side, they stayed the same. When we're telling time by the hour, we're always going to have two zeros on the minute side for digital clocks. Now, let's go to a different page and do some practice ones. Okay, now for these next problems that we're working on, uh, if you like, you can get a, a scrap piece of paper and do these with me if you like. So for number one, we're going to have to draw the hands on the clock. So for all of these, it's telling us what time it is with just the number and some words. So it says three o'clock. So we gotta figure out how to draw three o'clock on the analog clock that we worked on yesterday. And we know that the minute hand, or I'm sorry, the hour hand is a short one. And that the minute hand is a long one. And I like to make them two different colors. If you're doing this with me, you can go ahead and make them two different colors too. Just get two crayons. And so we made three o'clock with this analog clock. And they're kind of showing us how to make it with the digital clock, like we were practicing. So since it's 3 o'clock, the hour is 3. And when we say o'clock, we know that there's going to be two zeros. And that's all there is to it. Let's practice with number 2. I'm going to change up my colors again. All right. So now they're saying it is 5 o'clock. How do we draw 5 o'clock on this analog clock? How do we draw it? Well, first, we have to start with the hour hand, because they're telling us that the hour is 5. So we know that the short hand has to point at the 5. And it doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry. And we know that when we hear o'clock, where is that minute hand pointing? That minute hand has to point straight up at that 12. Now we have to figure out how to write it on a digital clock. 
Well, on a digital clock, we know that this is the hour side. And this is the This is the minute side. Right there. And what separates them are these two dots. So how would we write 5 o'clock? Well, first we start with this hour, right? The hour. And the hour hand is pointing at what number? It's pointing at that 5. So I write down the 5. And when it's o'clock, what numbers do we write? On the minute side, we write two zeros. And that's all there is to it. Let's try to do a number three. So they're saying it's 12 o'clock. So for 12 o'clock, we have to do something that kind of looks goofy. This was the tricky one I gave you yesterday. So we just have to start with our hour hand. I'm going to make my hour hand red. And remember, they're already telling us the hour, and then the hour is going to be 12. So this red hand has to go towards that 12 right there. But where's the minute hand going to point? Well, since it's saying o'clock, the minute hand has to point in the same direction. Oh, I thought I changed the color. So that minute hand has to point in the same direction, straight up at that 12. And that's how we would see 12 o'clock on an analog clock. But how would we write that on a digital clock? Well, we start with the hour first, and they kind of tell us the hour is right there, right? So the hour is 12. And for o'clock, what special numbers do we put? We're going to put two zeros. And that's it. Now we have 12 o'clock two different ways. Because it doesn't matter what kind of clock you have. They are the same. They're telling the same time. So now, before I move on, I'm going to need you to get your math workbooks that we send home. The black ones with the blue butterflies on it. We are going to start working on a page out of that book. We're going to work on one side together, and then the other side you're going to do on your own. Now, if you need an extra minute or two, just hit the pause button on this video. If not, I'm just going to dive right into this page. Now, your paper should look just like mine. We're at the top corner. It says the word reteach right there, and it has the number 13-2. Okay, you have to make sure it says reteach at the top or else it's not the same paper. Now, what they're asking us to do here is draw a line to the correct clock. So we want to draw a line to a clock that says the same time as our analog clock. Remember, this one with the blue arrow is our analog, and the ones below it, with the red arrow, these are digital. But we need them to mean the same thing. And they tell us right here on the first one, they help us out. So first we look at the hour hand, which I'm going to circle in red. What hour is it? It's 7. Do both of these have a 7 in them? They don't. This one does not have a 7. So this cannot be the answer. This one does have a 7. So, so far it's looking pretty good. And the minute hand is pointing at the 12. And we know that with the 12, we have to put two zeros in a digital clock for it to mean the same thing. So this analog clock says 7 o'clock. This digital one says 7 o'clock. So we would draw a line from the analog to the digital. And that's it. Go ahead and try number two all on your own.
I'm just going to give you guys a couple more seconds if you need it. I'm sure you guys are drawing your lines really quick. All right, if you need a couple seconds, pause the video. If not, let's figure this one out. So first we look at this little hand, which is the outer hand. And if you want, you can circle the number. I do it to make sure it stands out. So it's pointing to the number 1. And we know that the 12 is pointing, or the minute hand is pointing to the 12, and that means o'clock. So both of these digital clocks say o'clock at the end because they have the double zeros. But which one has a 1 on it? This one does. So this one with a 3 can't be it because it's not pointing at the 3. Go ahead, try number 3 all on your own. I'm just going to give you guys a couple seconds. Okay, so for this one, the hour hand is pointing at the 9. Which one of these has a 9 in it? Is it that one? Or is it the second one? It's the second one. This has a 12, so this can't be it. So we'll draw a line from, the, from here to here. And last one, try number four all on your own. Okay, if you need a couple extra seconds, just hit that pause button. If not, let's just jump right into it. Okay, the hour hand is pointing at a five. And the minute hand is pointing at 12, so we know it's going to be o'clock. Which one of these digital clocks has a five on it? Is it this first one here? Or is it the second one? Well, this second one has a six. It's close, but not quite right. This first one does have a five. And it says o'clock. So this has to be it. All right. So now that we did some practice together, I'm going to show you what your assignment is for today. Now, for your assignment today, they want you to go to the other side of the paper you're working on. Now, for your assignment today, I want you to complete the paper on the other side of the page that you're working on. So, if you turn the paper over that you were, you were uh, working on with me, at the top it should say the word practice and the numbers 13-2. That is your assignment. Make sure you're on the correct page. And then what they want you to do is draw the hands on the face of the analog clock and they tell you the time right here. So this, this one says 12 o'clock. So they drew that right here on the face of this analog clock and then they wrote it in the digital clock the way we practiced. So you're going to do the same thing for number two. I'm going to read the time there and draw it on this analog clock and digital clock. And same thing for number three and number four. Then, as we go down, there is a multiple choice question. And I'm going to read it to you. Mark the clock that shows the same time as the analog clock. So, what they want you to do is match this clock right here to one of these. Which one is saying the same thing as this big one right here? Which one shows the same time? And then just circle it or fill in the letter. That's it. That is your assignment for today. And don't forget, as soon as you finish, send a picture to your teacher. We need to see your work, okay? So... I hope to see everyone back here tomorrow for the next video, and I will see you guys then. Have a great one.